just last week or so, I did a game, Goosebumps the Board Game. You may have already saw its review, unboxing video. Today, I have another Goosebumps game. It's Shrieks and Spiders game. It's a card game, a Goosebumps card game. So, uh, you do sleep with the lights on, don't you? You will tonight, Goosebumps. We live the chill field excitement of the beast selling Goosebumps books. The castle is old, spooky, and filled with spiders. The rooms are dark, and all the shapes look alike. What's that lurking in the shadows? <gasps> Stack your cards now. Everybody flip one over. Do you see the mummy or the dummy? Stay calm. Flip, is that the monster or the hamster? Did you just feel the cold drift? You? It's curly. The skeleton, whenever he's flipped up, shout goosebumps and quickly grab a plastic spider. There aren't enough to go around, so if you don't get a spider, give up one of your chips. Flip again, grab again, if your wits are quick, and your grabs are fast, you'll keep the most chips and win. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Freaks and Spiders game. Are you in a goosebumpy mood? Why don't you play it on some eerie music? Dim the lights. Listen to the howling wind. And the spooky sounds coming from the basement. It's time for goosebumps. And in just a few moments... Your crazy little room will be filled with shrieks and spiders. Goosebumps. So here's the rules. And here's the spiders, which have... There's only three spiders, but four players. Ooh. And, uh... You got these little boards. Kind of cool. Each board has different tokens, which I will look at in a minute. We have Scarecrow. Welcome to Harland. The giant hamster. Cool zombies. So those are the four player cards. And then each one of these has little things on them. Which tell you what movie book series, book series, CV episode they went with. Like, Attack of the Mutant. You got a mutant. Night of the Living Dummy. You have... Dummy. Why I'm afraid of bees. The bee boy. That scarecrow walks at midnight. Scarecrow. That's scary. Scarecrow. The curse of the mummy's tomb. Yeah, you got a mummy. Sorry if these don't show up very good. A Night in Terra, Terra Town. Wow. That's a good looking monster. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Ooh, a werewolf. Oops. Phantom of the Auditorium. The... Barking Ghost. Wow, a dog ghost. Stay out of the basement. 
One day at Horland. The clicker grew clock of doom. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. The haunted mask. Oh. Not like the mask from the mask show. The werewolf of Ever Swamp. Ooh. Return of the mummy. He's back. He's going to get you. You can't scare me. Or can you? So, uh, let's look at the different monster cards. Do the mesh. The monster mesh. Do the mesh. A graveyard mesh. Do the mesh. Anyway, we have different monster cards. All the back look like this. And then we have hamster, dummy, mummy, dummy, dummy, hamster, mummy, skeleton, ghoul creature, hamster. Basically, we only have like four different ones. Like the werewolf, the mummy, the dummy, the hamster, the skeleton, skello. So basically, there's not really a whole lot of different monsters, only like four or five. But, uh, it's basically a kid's game. Simple, easy, fast, fun. Kids love it. You play it like on Halloween or some scary evening and throw, you know, have the lights down low and scare all the kids, yo. Get them in a rage fit. Um, and, um, uh, just, you know, scare kids. Who doesn't want to scare kids? So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If, you know, tell me some of your crazy, creepy, scary... Halloween stories or something. It's, um... Tell me your favorite episode of Goosebumps. Whatever. Uh... Have a great day. And, uh... Keep on scaring. Folks.